السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وبعد Welcome to the Daily Reminder This is the Jewels from the Sunnah And uh, welcome to a new uh, segment uh, Today we said we're going to move on to a new section in the book of the Etiquettes and Morals which is Kitab Al-Adab we have a new section and the new section is called Babu Al-Waqar Wa-Sakina It's a section on tranquility, peace uh, and this basically describes the manner in which a person carries himself or herself قال الإمام النووي رحمه الله تعالى قال الله تعالى وعباد الرحمن الذين يمشون على الأرض هونا وإذا خاطبهم الجاهلون قالوا سلاما عن عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت ما رأيت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مستجمعا قط ضاحكا حتى ترى منه لهواته إنما كان يتبسم متفق عليه اللهوات جمع لها وهي وهي اللحمة التي في أقصى سقف الفم. Alright, so Imam Nawawi here has a heading on uh, how a person carries themselves with tranquility, uh, peace, and uh, a level of respect, which is the opposite of being obnoxious, frantic. Right? Um, and he quotes the verse from Surah Al Furqan where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises his servants. He says, وَعِبَادُ Rahman and the servants of the Most Merciful, when they walk on earth, they walk with tranquility, with ease and respect and humility. And if um, ignorant people address them, they basically respond with, with salam and peace. And so this describes the, the manner or the demeanor of the people who truly worship Allah and are connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this kind of peace and connection they have with Allah reflects on their outward, on their on their on their expression, how they carry themselves and how they come across. Uh, the hadith is collected by Al Bukhari and Muslim. It's from on the authority of Aisha radiallahu anha. She said, I never saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laughing in a manner where his throat shows or the, his uh, uh, uvula shows uh, the Prophet would only just smile the Prophet would only smile and this shows the manner of the Prophet that he would not uh, laugh his head off he would not open his mouth and, and laugh uncontrollably this is something that was never seen from the Prophet on the contrary he was balanced he was he had this he, he was reserved even when he when 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 he was a, when he laughed he would just give a big smile and it would not be something that would contradict a sense of humility and tranquility why because this kind of tranquility and humility and balance is a hallmark of the of the soul of of a, of a heart that is connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a heart that is connected to the bigger bigger truths of of, of life uh, whereas someone who who just loses themselves in a, in a laughter and they 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 sort of uncontro laugh uncontrollably and you find the per person you know cracking up this shows that this person is is consumed in the present in, in i mean in the immediate situation if it's if it's a moment of um, if it's a humorous moment to a point that they lose that touch again with the bigger truths of life and this is not a negation or a prohibition of laughter a person could laugh if they want but here this is a this is a reference to to a fact of life that when a person is connected to the deep to the deeper realities of life and the meaning of life and they are aware of of the whole context of what it means to be alive and what it means to be a human being and what it means to be in this world uh, it is going to ground them uh, in existence to a point where they would not be consumed completely in the present moment 
So when a moment of uh, humor and joy comes about, they don't go overboard with their laughter and their uh, and their uh, and and their their, their 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 happiness and their joy. They would actually do that, and the way they would express it would show the balance and the and the level of grounding that they that they actually experience at a deeper level. So, uh, and uh, whereas a person who's not so grounded in these deeper realities of life, this person would respond uh, in extremes. In moments of joy and moments of sadness so we'd find the person overjoyous uh, and uh, they would their response would be out of control at moments of joy but at the same time at moments of despair and pain and sadness they would display just an extreme uh, an extreme emotion or ex an extreme expression of emotion and uh, we find this actually in the Quran this kind of balance Allah subhanahu wa says in the Quran in Surah uh, in Surah Ali Imran, speaking about the state of the believers, of the Muslims after the battle of Uhud, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains why he, he, he made them go through that, the, the, the tough circumstances in the battle of Uhud, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved many of them afterwards. Allah says, لِكَيْ لَا تَأْسَوْ عَلَى مَا فَاتَكُمْ وَلَا تَفْرَحُوا بِمَا آتَاكُمْ So that you do not fall in despair because of the calamity or the, the blow that you received, nor that you uh, go to extremes in your joy when Allah blesses you with something. And this shows this kind of balance uh, or balanced expression of emotions is is something that is intrinsic to people who are connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it doesn't mean they lack joy or they lack happiness or even that they lack uh, an experience of of pain or sadness it's just it does not overtake them completely because they are attending to a deeper dimension of reality at the same time and this this just keeps them balanced and it makes their experience in their life uh, deeper and more grounded and more profound and richer than someone who's uh, fluctuating between the the two extremes of of life and the experiences of life so this is basically the 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 general manner of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we know he's someone who went through moments of joy and happiness and he also went through through moments of extreme pain and the uh, challenge yet the prophet sallallahu in both did not display any extreme responses or expressions on the contrary he was grounded so moments of challenge and pain uh, the Prophet was still grounded and was able to to face those moments with so much courage and determination and persistence and in moments of joy and extreme he was not thrown out of balance and he would not be uh, pushed to uh, again, uh, uh, to, an, to an extreme or an imbalanced expression of his of his joy and contentment. So this is something actually to it's it's a very interesting uh, prospect to you know explore to investigate and uh, consider our own state as individuals. Each one of us, which I think we should really ask ourselves what kind of what is my response to to life situations are they extreme ones on both sides of the spectrum uh, th you know pleasant occasions and unpleasant moments what is my response am i completely taken by immediate circumstances or am i attending at the same time i go through you know my circumstances am i attending to uh, a deeper aspect of reality am i in touch with uh, the 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 bigger and the 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 true the bigger truths of fa and, and 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 realities of life am i attached to them so that my response is always balanced i think it's a very profound exercise for each one of us actually to check themselves against this beautiful etiquette from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and again i just want to emphasize that these are etiquettes from the messenger alayhi salatu wasalam uh, here it's not a matter of obligation Aisha radiallahu anha, radiallahu anha is actually uh, informing us and narrating to us the state of the Prophet وسلم, and his response and his demeanor this is not necessarily an obligation uh, but it is actually a reference and it is um, 
I would say an indicator of what it means to be grounded in faith and how much strength, stability and uh, composure uh, this gives you know the the person who really holds on to faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and connection to the bigger facts about life I think it's a it's, for me personally this is a very profound point and um, and it is a it's a big challenge so I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us uh, develop a level of Iman which enables us to be more grounded in the bigger facts and realities of life rather than being like a feather in the wind with every blow we are moved uh, we're blown here and there so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us firm and strong and to make us of those who are balanced and have uh, a lot of composure and and balance uh, in there as they go through the different experiences in life uh, i hope all of you again are in a good state of iman and and health and wellness and i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to write the best for us in these tough circumstances inshallah we'll see you in another segment of the daily reminder which is uh, jewels from the sunnah of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam until then i leave you in peace wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh